Wayne Gretzky is arguably the greatest hockey player of all time. We could go back and forth, Mario or Wayne, this or that, but for this video, we are gonna be focusing on the great one himself, number 99. We are gonna be doing a complete career simulation video with a fantasy draft. Now, Gretzky won four cups in his incredible career, so let's randomize this four times, and the LA Kings win the Wayne Gretzky sweepstakes once again, so he goes Goes number one, obviously. McDavid actually goes back to Edmonton, which is kind of fun. But with his newfound team, the LA Kings are going to surround Wayne Gretzky with Jaden Schwartz and Clayton Keller. So we're going to be doing a complete career simulation from year one to whenever he retires. We got Jordan Bennington. Do I look nervous between the pipes? Wayne Gretzky. I made him basically 99 everything except for shot blocking and fighting, all that stuff, obviously. Gretzky wasn't known for that. Year number one shows Wayne Gretzky having, well, a very Wayne Gretzky-like season. 130 points, 79 goals, taking home the Maurice Rocket Richard, but unfortunately they choke in round one to their state rivals, the Anaheim Ducks. Year number two in sunny LA is looking good for Wayne once again. He wins the Rocket Richard for the second straight year, has 95 points. Him and Clayton Keller have some nice chemistry going along. Now Wayne Gretzky does improve to 98 overall, still on his entry level deal. However, the LA Kings fall short in the playoffs again to the state rival, the Anaheim Ducks, and they go out in round number two. Year number three, the LA Kings send a message to the rest of the league, finishing first in the NHL, tied with the Penguins. They did have more regulation wins. Wayne Gretzky had another fantastic year, 108 points, 66 goals, 42 assists. But once again, the playoff struggles continue, bounced by the Oilers. That one stings. Now, I just happened to look at the uh, upcoming drafted players. Remember this guy, Keith Champion. He comes in later in the video. Remember him. Now coming off of his entry level deal, Wayne is going to look to get paid and he does just that. 98 overall, 22 years old, 11.1 .1 for 7 years. It is worth noting Gretzky only made just over 45 million in his entire career. That's crazy. Wayne's getting paid big boy money and he's going to have to show it here. After a 104 point season, the LA Kings have 49 wins and Gretzky goes off. 84 goals, 56 assists, 140 points, but the playoff struggles continue. Another first round exit. Five years into Gretzky's tenure with the LA Kings for the second time, and they miss the postseason. By one point, you hate to see it. 118 points for Gretzky, 79 goals. He did his part. Let's compare the simulation stats versus the real life stats. Now, Gretzky was 23 when he scored 1,000 points. That is unheard of. Comparing that to McDavid, McDavid's just at 469 points at 23. That's just crazy. So in real life, Gretzky he had 914 points in his first five years and in the simulation Gretzky has 591 points so it just goes to show how dominant Gretzky was in real life it was just ridiculous now what's pretty impressive the first five years he hasn't missed a game injuries are on now looking at his first five years in the real NHL had over 200 points twice almost three times that just doesn't make sense Year number six, we're going to start seeing some prominent players retire. Eric Stahl, Evgeny Malkin, TJ Oshie. But in year number six, the LA Kings rebound nicely, finishing ninth in the NHL with 95 points. Gretzky has another Art Ross and Rocket Richard winning season. He does it every single year. He basically wins every single major award except for the cup because we kept getting bounced in the first round. Year number seven and Gretzky is getting tired of getting bounced in the first round. Another fantastic year, 10th in the league, another Rocket Richard winning year, 70 goals, but it's the same story once again in the postseason, getting bounced in the first round. It's just comical at this point. And Gretzky has taken home a lot of the personal awards. I'm keeping track off camera just because he basically wins the same ones every single year. So I'm gonna be keeping track and showcasing that at the end of the 
the video. But as for right now, he's got seven rockets, one Lady Bing, one Selkie, one Heart, one Ted Lindsay, and two Art Ross trophies. Not bad for seven years in the league. Eight years into the simulation, and Alexander Ovechkin decides to hang up the skates, breaking Gretzky's goal record 940. As for Gretzky and the LA Kings, they missed the playoffs by one point by the Edmonton Oilers. That one stings. Poor Wayne getting bounced by his old team in the playoffs. They get one more point than him. You just hate to see it. Poor guy. 64 goals, 98 points. Kind of a light season for Wayne Gretzky. Wins the Selkie and the Rocket. Richard. I think Wayne was a little upset that he kept getting bounced by the Edmonton Oilers. 102 points, second in the NHL, and he has a monster season of 94 goals, breaking his own goal record. He's mad that Ovi broke his all-time goal record. He gets 94, and the LA Kings actually go deep in the postseason, losing to the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Stanley Cup final. He wins the Art Ross, he wins the Hart, he wins the Ted Lindsay, he wins the Rocket, but no Stanley Cup. Losing in the Cup Finals, that hurts. After losing to the Penguins at the final dance, they bring in Peyton Krebs. Management does kind of a retool. They get some nice young players in here. Ryan Merkley, they kind of revamp the team. Unfortunately, they're not great in the goaltending department with Peter Mrazek. However, they still have a pretty solid year. 93 points, finishing 11th in the National Hockey League. Wayne Gretzky once again has another fantastic year. 86 goals, 42 assists, 129 points, wins all of the awards, and they get bounced in the first round. Things you hate to see. Year number 11 shows California on top of the hockey world, LA and San Jose finishing first and second. Gretzky, another very Gretzky-like campaign, 85 goals, 134 points. He wins everything, the Art Ross, the Ted Lindsay, the Rocket, and they make it to the Western Conference Finals. They lose in seven to the eventual Stanley Cup champions. Poor Wayne. The Kings can't win a cup, they're frustrated, but they do have a bunch of money to give to Wayne Gretzky. They give him basically a blank check. He writes just over $15 million for the next seven years. Thanks for coming out. Enjoy all of the money. Now remember this Keith Champion guy? He went first overall. We saw him at the beginning of the video. The LA Kings bring in a champion. They bring in a young stud who went first overall, and they actually just squeak into the playoffs just by the hair of their chinny chin chins. Wayne Gretzky has, yes, again, it's getting very repetitive, but another Gretzky-like season, and they make it all the way to the Western Conference Final once again, and they lose to the Nashville Predators, winning the Selkie and winning the Rocket Richard. Wayne Gretzky has to be beyond frustrated right now. All right, lucky number 13, year number 13. The LA Kings finish eighth in the NHL. Gretzky has 112 points with 69 nice goals. And after 13 hard years, the Los Angeles Kings are Stanley Cup champions, making it all the way to the Cup Final and beating the Pittsburgh Penguins, the team that knocked them out of the Stanley Cup Final a few years ago. Gretzky wins everything except for the Conn Smythe, which was very interesting. Obviously, Gretzky put up some insane numbers, 28 points, but Erickson had 29, and they gave the con Smythe to him. I feel like Gretzky got snubbed a little bit there after all he's done for LA. Coming off of their first Stanley Cup victory, year 14 is a good one, 50 wins on the year. Gretzky, once again, does his thing, 131 points, and they're back to their old ways, getting bounced in the first round. Oh boy. All right, year number 15, the Kings just squeak into the playoffs once again with 39 wins. That's a miracle. But what is interesting is Gretzky has his first year where he doesn't play 82 games straight. That's right, 1148 consecutive games played. He's the Iron Man of all Iron Men, and that streak is now snapped. At 34 years old, maybe his body's starting to give out a little bit after 15 years of carrying the Kings on his back, and they get kicked out in the first round once again. 
Year number 16, Wayne Gretzky finally drops to a 96 overall, a measly 96 overall at 34 years old. Their team is relatively still the same. They got a better goalie with Chance Slater, which is good to see. And Gretzky has a 107 point campaign, all 82 games. He's healthy, he's good to go, 51 goals on the year. Now I remember this year because I went all the way down here. I was thinking the Kings were gonna suck because just before this I saw them and their record wasn't great but they caught fire at the right time they finished 8-1-1 one one to end off the year so I remember their record was not good at all and once you get in the playoffs anything can happen the LA Kings win the Stanley Cup in seven games against the Florida Panthers I remember their record was terrible that's why I had to look they caught fire at the right time and they never looked back Stanley Cup champions for the second time Jack Eichel finished with 47 points in 28 games in the postseason. Gretzky had 44, and finally he gets the one trophy he didn't have, the Conn Smythe. The trophy case is complete, and here is Jack Eichel retiring after a ridiculous postseason at 38 years old. That was crazy. Year number 17 shows Gretzky drop to a 94 overall on his final year of his $15 million contract. Will he stay? Will he go? Is this the last dance? The LA Kings are still competitive, 104 points, 48 wins on the year. And for the first time in 17 years, someone other than Wayne Gretzky leads the Kings in scoring. It was only by one point and Gretzky missed a ton of games, but 114 to 113. And the Kings are back to their old ways, getting kicked out in the first round by the Vancouver Canucks. Gretzky decides one more kick at the can with LA, signs an $11.3 million deal for one year. The Great One proves he's the Great One, putting the Kings on his back for one last year, 18 years with this team, and he decides, you know what, 37 years old, I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. He has a career year, 141 points. Why not when you're Wayne Gretzky? Why the hell not? 37 years old, 67 goals, and in the postseason, they got rid of the Wild in seven, but lose to the Blues in five. After 18 years, he wins the heart, wins the Art Ross, the Selkie, the Ted Lindsay, the Frank J. Selkie. Gretzky decides to test free agency. 37 years old, 87 overall, looking for just over 12 million bucks. And the Pittsburgh Penguins, they decide to take a chance on the great one. Gretzky on the Penguins, what is going on? He signs for just over $10 million. The team that beat them in the Stanley Cup final and the Kings beat the Penguins in the cup final as well. He's here for year 19. Year 19 shows Connor McDavid call it quits, just over 2,000 points, not a bad career at all, and the Pittsburgh Penguins finish second in the National Hockey League, 107 points. Gretzky plays all 82 games, has 84 points after signing a one-year deal. Not a bad year, 46 goals, and in the playoffs, unfortunately, the Penguins lose to the Big Bad Bruins in the Eastern Conference final, but good news is the Canucks get their revenge on the Bruins. That makes me happy. Gretzky decides not to re-sign with the Pittsburgh Penguins. He's testing free agency once again. In a move I didn't see coming, Wayne Gretzky decides to play on the wing. For the first time in his career, he goes to Buffalo, signs a deal for just under $8 million. He's 86 overall, and the Buffalo Sabres are in the toilet. One of the worst teams in the league, only 68 points. Maybe it wasn't the greatest idea to sign in Buffalo. He has 72 points in 82 games, a minus player for the first time in his career. Not not looking good and the team he walked away from the Pittsburgh Penguins win the Stanley Cup once again you hate to see it 
In year 21, the Penguins go back to back. The team that he walked away from where they didn't re-sign him, they go back to back and Buffalo goes back to back in the toilet. They have not a great year. Gretzky only plays 50 games after being injured, gets 62 points. He decides to test free agency once again. The man, the myth, the legend, 40 years old, 87 overall going into his 22nd season. In his 22nd year, Wayne Gretzky signs with the Columbus Blue Jackets for just under $8.5 million a season. A one-year deal, by the end of it, he dropped to 82 overall. He had over 90 points, and at the end of year number 22, he decides to retire. What a career for the great one. We're going to break down all of his stats. He played in LA, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Columbus, maybe should have stayed in in Pittsburgh, could have got a couple more rings, decided to go to Buffalo, I'll never understand that, but at the end of his career, he had a ton left in the tank, 92 points in 82 games. Now this man was a warrior, look at all the 82s, he rarely missed a game, what a career. Wayne Gretzky finishes his simulation with 1,756 games played, 1,441 career goals, 979 assists for 2,000 420 points. He also has quite a hardware collection, 14 Rocket Richards, 4 Lady Bings, 6 Selkie Trophies, 8 Hearts, 6 Ted Lindsay's, 13 Art Rosses, 2 Stanley Cups, and a Conn Smythe. It's not bad. Comparing that to his real life stats, he had more games played, more goals, but almost a thousand less assists. And Wayne Gretzky, during his simulation and real life comparison, he had a difference of 437 points. I thought he might get close. I mean, that seems like a huge amount of points, but Gretzky was an assist god in real life. In this simulation, he turned out to be more of a goal scorer, which was kind of cool to see. And in the postseason, he wasn't any slow either. In the simulation stats, he played 204 playoff games with 289 points. In the real life in playoffs, he had 208 games played with 382 points. So a difference of 93 points in four less games. That's pretty ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching guys. This video is a lot of fun to do. It's a lot of work. I gotta give a shout out to two people who inspired me to do this. NM3, he creates career simulation videos. A lot of what he does was replicated in this video. I just wanna show some love because without him posting that video and all of his career simulation videos, I would have never got the inspiration to do this. Also, Man of the Writ as well. You guys know and love him. Link in the description to both of those guys. They both inspired me to make these. I want to give out some credit where credit's due because these guys do an awesome job on their career simulations and I respect the hell out of it because this took way longer than I thought. But thanks for watching. If you want to see another one, let me know what player should we do. I really like doing these. It's a lot of fun. I thought why not start at the top with Wayne Gretzky. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.